guys, it's Emma, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video, which I know I say in every video, but I am super excited about this because I finally filmed my bookshelf tour. So I recently-ish got this bookshelf. I got this for Christmas, but I'm still utilizing the majority of my room for books. So if you guys want to see um, every book that I own, <laughs> and how I organize my books then just keep on watching. Shelf that is right behind me when I film. On top there's just a bunch of sentimental things but there are some things that would like give away where I live which I don't want so I'm gonna not show that. So we're gonna start with the first shelf here which is my classic shelf. So I haven't really gotten a lot of like decorations for my shelves yet so I just sort of used what I had. So the only thing I have on the shelf is this dream big thing with an elephant. I don't know. It was in my stocking. So I just put it up here. But these are all my classics. Sorry for the handheldness. My tripod does not go this high. So we're just going to do this handheld. So all the way at the left, we have some classics from my childhood. So we have Oliver Twist. I didn't even realize that was Oliver Twist because it's so yellow. Oh, which is one of my favorite classics. And then, then we have The Prince and the Pauper, White Fang, Pygmalion, and Heidi. And this Heidi one is an Illustrated Junior Library one. It's pretty cool. I don't want to pull these out because they're so tight. So I just want to pull them out if I want to show you guys something specific. We have the great works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, The, Mem the Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, The Hound of Bas the Baskervilles, A Study in Scarlet, and others. And this is a Genuine Bound Leather Edition, so that's pretty cool. I feel like I'm moving so much, I apologize. <laughs> then we have a Barnes Noble Edition, like Classics Leather Bound Edition of the A Wrinkle in Time series by Madeline Langle, which is amazing. I got this one for $2, so that was amazing. And then we have The Adventures of Huck Finn by Mark Twain. Got this recently showed it in a vlog i got this at savers it also has the gold spread edges then we have two books that i got from my grandmother which are 1984 by george orwell and the alchemist haven't read either of these dracula by bram stoker i got this edition for 33 cents it has like a bunch of like annotations and stuff in it haven't read that a book i got for christmas the poisonwood bible by barbara kingsolver i don't know how you say that the picture drawing gray by oscar wilde which i am super interested in peter pan Northanger Abbey, just a lot of Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility. Then I have the only one I've read, Pride and Prejudice. Then we have Persuasion. We have Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. My favorite Shakespeare, which is Hamlet. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which I still haven't yet to read. I just picked up this copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. We have The Wizard of Oz and The Big Daddy, Les Mis, which I don't know if I'm ever going to read. I want to read it. It's just ginormous, so, yeah. So we'll put that back, and I will put you guys on the ring light, and hopefully the quality of this will get better. So now we're at the next shelf down. This is basically a lot of YA fantasy series and two, like, historical fantasy books. Historical fiction fantasy books. I don't know what to classify them as. But these ones tend to be, like, the more colorful ones, and the next shelves are like the more like black and red, but there's a few exceptions. I don't know. I just sort of threw them up here. This is something that was on my wall. It just says, dance like no one's watching, sing like no one is listening, and live each day like it's your last. And then I just have this little box, which I think still has hair ties in it, but I was going to make it like a TBR jar thing. Just haven't done that yet. I'm going to put that back there. We have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which I have an unpopular opinion of and um, didn't really enjoy. We have My Lady Jane by the Lady Janies, which I loved. Green Terrible Beauty I have not read. Demon King, really liked. Four stars. Have to move on to the second one eventually. The This Season by N.K. Jemison, which scares me. Roar and Rage by Cora Carmack. This arc I won in a tour giveaway, so I got the first one and yeah. Then we have Truth Witch. By Susan Dennard, which I gave four stars. Again, haven't moved on to Wind Witch yet. Uh, Pathfinder by Orson Scott Carr. Yes, I know Orson Scott Carr is not a great person. I got this for like a dollar at a used bookstore. I think the premise still sounds really interesting, but 
just so you know. So there's the sequel, which I got for literally 20 cents. So, um, a super underrated book in my opinion, oh gosh, is The Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I got this for like five bucks on Amazon and I read it in like a day. I loved this so much. I really need to get the next book, Daughter of the Siren Queen, and read that next. And lastly, for the shelf, this beautiful cover, we have Arabella of Mars by David D. Levine. I have not read this yet, but it's really pretty. And then we'll go down one shelf. So here we have the third shelf down, and this is more YA fantasy. Um, and then adult fantasy. My family just got home. Um, okay, but over here we have... This little deer that says, oh dear, part of my winter decorations still up. As well as this pep twisted peppermint candle by, from Bath and Body Works. Oh, the ring light is really gonna hurt that. Okay, well, it's pretty. So then we have the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I've read the Shadow and Bone. I haven't finished Season Storm. I'm like 20 pages in. This is unopened. I got this for Christmas, but I read them through the library, so I have to pick that up. Then we have Caraval and Legendary by Stephanie Garber. I really want to read those. Then we have The Great Hunt and The Great Pursuit by Wendy Higgins. Um, haven't read those, but got those at the used bookstore as well. One of my favorite books, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Gave that 4.5 stars. So I guess, I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but it is really good. The one Schwab book that I have that I have not read, which is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Heard great things about this, and I'm super excited. Then we have my, this is one of my favorite books, which is Vicious by B.E. Schwab. It's got some tabs in it. This was like one of the first books I ever annotated. So you can see I didn't annotate a lot, but it is one of my favorite books. And then we have Vengeful, which I've also read. Sermon and Dove, which I'm super, super excited about. I got this at the 50% uh, off sale from Barnes & Noble. And this is the exclusive edition. To be honest, do I know what's exclusive about it? Not really. But it's not like anything under there. Okay. I think the exclusive stuff is at the back. Oh, there's an exclusive scene at the back. That's what it is. And then we have a bo another book I haven't read, <laughs> sensing a theme, which is Sabre Gar by Garth Nix. I also got this at my favorite used bookstore. And I saw, I got this because I saw a lot of people were getting um, Angel Maze in, was it the Fairy Loot? I don't remember what book box it was. And I knew that Sabre was his other series that was really highly rated. So I picked this up, but I have yet to read it. But that just lives there. And that's it for my third shelf. So yeah, these two were just paperback fantasy. And next we'll get to my hardcover fantasy. Back to the handheld, so I apologize. But I can't show these last two shelves with my tripod because it doesn't go that low. But first we have a picture of me and one of my best friends, Ari. We have this adorable hedgehog fake plant. Um, thing that my sister got me for Christmas because I'm obsessed with hedgehogs so if you guys don't have the hedgehog a day Twitter saved you need to um, then we have poison study and magic study by Moravia Snyder I really like these these are like classic YA fantasy from like the 2000s you can tell by the covers they have had a cover redesign though I just have the first editions but I gave these both 3.5 stars they were really good Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I've DNF'd this book. I do want to give it another try, but yep. And then we have my loves. We got Akatar, which I tabbed all heck. And what I just finished, Akamath. Amazing. So these are both five stars. Some of my favorite books of all time. So excited to finally move on to Akawar. Which is right there, ready to be read. And lastly, we have two books that I haven't read, which are The Last Nimsara by Kristen Cicerelli. This is such a beautiful cover. And Children of Bloody Bone by Tony Adeyemi. And then we go to our last shelf, which I don't really know how to show because it's literally on the ground. But here is my favorite middle grades. 
And then we have this like candle holder thing that my mom was getting rid of, so I just put it here. An owl and this other little thing. And we have my editions of Peter and the Star Catchers and Peter and the Secret of Rundoon, which are some of my favorites. Obviously, that's what I said the whole shelf is. Um, Old Magic by Marianne Curley. One of the most underrated middle grades. I was obsessed with this. And then we have Witch and Wizard by James Patterson and The Gift. And then the graphic novel. And then we have my illustrated editions of the first three Harry Potters, as well as this book five, because we had an extra one in the basement for some reason. I don't know, my family's copies are all in the living room, but these are just my copies. So next we'll head over to my TBR cart. So here's my TBR cart that's right next to my bookshelf. Above it I have this pin flag, which I want to get some bookish pins for, so if you guys know where to find some good ones, please link them down below in the comments. But so far I just have these ones that say Reman Books, Book Lover. Uh, this one that says A Reader Leaves a Thousand Lives, and this one for Luke's because I love Gilmore Girls. And then on my TBR cart, it's mainly where I just keep like things I don't have room for. So we have some library books. So we have Elantris, Foundry's Side, Waking Gods, Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. Um, a historical romance anthology and Wicked Like a Wildflower by Sarah McLean. We also have this mug which says find joy in the journey, which one of my best friends gave me, which has my open like tabs for tabbing and some bookmarks I made and some bookmarks from like the library and like random ones. Here's one other one, this was just too big. And then I have some book darts as well. Then on the second tier, we have this little rock. I don't remember what this is. Tell me if you know, because I don't know. And then some books I got recently. So you have Graceling by Kristen Kishore, The Winner's Curse by Marie Ratowski, The Magicians by Olive Grossman, and Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carragher. So I just hadn't put these on my shelves yet. And then we have Edith the Penguin and all my CDs, because they were on top of the thing that this bookshelf replaced, so I needed a place for it, and a DNA kit. Then down here is just like bullet journal stuff, annotating pencil case, my Kindle, my DVD collection, stuff like that. Not really super interesting. Over the bookshelf that I used to sit in front of, which is, you know, under my TV and my jewelry and stuff. And here I just recently rainbowed these. So this is my YA contemporary and adult contemporary, kind of. Uh, I don't know. It was just YK contemporary in the beginning. But then I put Daisy Jones and the Six in there, so, <laughs> yeah. But I have that. I have this little card thing that I made, which just has a Proverbs thing on it. I just like the saying, kind words are like honey sweet to the soul. And this little lantern thing that I got from my library. Some more books. Um, to talk about some that I've read, um, I've read Paper Towns. I gave that four, no, four stars, I think. I don't know. Linda Met Rishi, which I thought the back half of this was amazing. First half, not so great. Daisy Jones and the Six. I just have a reading blog about this. I'll link this above. It's a new favorite. When We Were Liars, um, I still don't understand what I've read, so yep. Yeah. Um, and then we've read, I've read all of these. I haven't read Reality Boy by A.S. King, but I'm really excited to. I'm going to move this so you can see it a little better. Then we have The Serpent King by Just Setner, which I want to read. And the first time she drowned by Carrie Clutter. Then here we have some more Mag Morgan Matson. I haven't read The Unexpected Everything or Save the Date, but I loved Since You've Been Gone. Fangirl, which I know, problematic, but I really liked this when I read it. I think I gave it five stars when I read it, but I don't know. I'm scared to reread it. Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. Loved that. A Million Junes, one of my favorites of last year. This is one I got from my for Christmas. And some new ones that I haven't read. And Birthday by Meredith Russo. Again, another sort of problematic person. But I think that the topic of um, was really good. And I really enjoyed it. And it was my first arc I ever received. And then we have this candle for Bondi Beach in Sydney. Because I went there when I studied abroad. Oh, and one other exciting thing about this shelf is this a copy of... Oops, there goes my candle. This copy of Save the Date is actually a signed first edition, so that's super exciting since Morgan Matson is definitely one of my favorite contemporary authors. And there we go. 
and there is a whole level or a whole layer behind this so I'm going to take these off and show you guys that. So behind all of those contemporaries is my Nicholas Sparks and like mass market paperbacks. So I have most of the books Nicholas Sparks has put out. I've read like half. I don't know. I've read The Last Song, The Choice, Dear John, um, Longest Ride, half of see me and then i've read the lucky one and then i also have a game of thrones and a clash of kings haven't read either of these really want to though uh the duchess deal by tessa dare one of my favorite books loved it and then say yes to the marquess which is the one that i'm on so yeah not really anything super exciting again nicholas sparks is just one of those like guilty pleasures and like one that i read a lot when i was younger so i collect i started collecting these like forever ago and I still don't have all of them, but yeah, I collect the movies as well, so it's sort of a paired collection. But I just like how it's like literally it takes up the entire shelf. It's like Jenga. I love it. And then on the last shelf, it's kind of a mess, but here's a picture of me and my sisters when we were younger. They'll probably hate me for showing this because we all don't look great. Here's where I keep my nail polish and um, a random pin. So we'll move that out of the way. And these are all my other middle grades that I own from my childhood. Um, the Secret Circle, which I really want to read because I haven't read that yet. Fable Haven, one of my favorites. Uh, some of the Percy Jackson books. If I move this picture, you can see. I haven't read these two. This is a Cornelia Funk book, which is really highly rated on Goodreads, but I haven't read it. It actually came out the year I was born, but I got it in like, or maybe it came out a little after, but I got this literally in like third grade at the um, Scholastic Book Fair as well as this one. Uh, this one's signed to me from a author from Maine. Tunnels is a really great book. Then some of the Divergent books, a Percy Jackson book, some bookmarks that are like older and like sentimental. A Twitches book that I got randomly and just wanted. Maze Runner, which I got recently. I actually haven't read that, or not recently. I got it last year. Uh, some of the Twilight books. I wanted my own copies. Uh, Beautiful Creatures. And that's all of the second middle grade shelf not too much i have most of like my actual like fam like there's more in my family's bookshelf so these are just the ones that i had in my room or that i put in my room so definitely not all of them these are just the ones that are in this bookshelf so now let's go to the bookshelf in the corner. Okay, so now we're in the like reading corner thing with like my spelt lamp. We'll start over here because there's literally nothing. This is just like blankets and this usually is on my bed. But yeah, it's got like my weighted blanket and stuff. Here, I don't know why those books are still there. They've been there for like years. We have, is that the second or third girl online book by Zoe Slug? Never read it. Three Willows, which is by the same person who wrote The Sister of the Traveling Pants. Love that series, never read this. And these are mostly school books. Uh, I have a picture of me and my sisters from my sorority. And yeah, it's a lot of school books and like nonfiction stuff, like the Titanic. I think this book is like really cool because it's also was um, $3.50. No, it was the Manhattan Project one. That was a dollar. Yeah, that one. I just like old books, you know? So it's that kind of thing. My rock collection from when I was little because... Yeah, why not? And then above my reading chair, we have my books that I filmed in front of a few times, but mainly I filmed some vlog clips here. So on the top shelf, we have my adult books. So I've only read one of these, and that was Landline by Rainbow Rowell. And then I just have some of my snow globe collection. That's what those are called. Uh, the Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I got this for like two bucks. I really want to read it because I know the series came out. Or the movie came out, but I haven't read it because it's giant and it scares me. Some Kathy Reich's books because of my like major and stuff. So yeah, and then this Rocket Man book, which I think I got in like sixth grade, never read, but it still intrigues me. Then we have my Cassandra Clare shelf. I joined the party late. I joined last year. But um yeah. So I've read all of these uh, till here. So this is the one I'm on, Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. We got my main man, Simon, looking great. And I also just got Red Scrolls of Magic because it was 50% off at 
Barnes and Noble. I don't think there's anything really exciting to say here. Got these bookends. That's a book. I don't know. <laughs> and then here we have my sci-fi and dystopian shelf. That's not like middle grade, you know? Here's my perfumes also just because they're at a good height and they're easy to access. We have my little, they're not Funkos, but I don't know what they are technically called, but my little figurines. So we have, you know, C-3PO and Chewy. So I thought that was appropriate for the sci-fi shelf. So we have, I've read, or I'm currently reading all of these. So I've read Skyward and Starsight, loved, 4.5 stars, amazing. Probably would have been a five star if I read it like all in one. And then this was a 4.5, I believe. Might have been a four. But these covers are also just amazing. Then we have Illumine, which I read the entire trilogy last year. I'm obsessed with it. Need to get the other two. And then we have The Bone Season and The Mind Mourner by Samantha Shannon. I am on The Mind Mourner. It's just really dense and hard to get through. But I need to pick this up again because I'm not DNFing it forever. And then The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Stephanie Meyer's best work right there. Beautiful. And then we have some other books over here. We have what I've read recently and I'm obsessed with. Sleeping Giants by Sylvia Nouvelle. I've gotten so many people to read this and Skyward because I literally talk all about them all the time. We have Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman, which kind of scares me because it's really realistic, I've heard, so I don't know. And then a book that I want to get to so badly, I've had this since 2018, is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles, which is sci-fi princess retellings. So, yeah. And then we have Dare Mighty Things, another sci-fi I'm super excited to get into. I fell in love with sci-fi last year, and I just really want to continue that. And then lastly, Blood Red Rose. Blood Red Rose? What? Blood Red Road by Moira Young, which they keep they kept changing what it was if it was sci-fi or dystopian in my used bookstore so i don't know what this is but i'm intrigued by it and then we have these little guys and that's my last shelf so i hope you guys enjoyed my bookshelf tour please give this video a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment down below telling me how you organize your books all right i'll see you guys in another video soon bye <laughs>